Hey again, it's Tyler Parsons. Looks like you're back to improve your game. So today I'm gonna to be using a band. And this is definitely something that I have my tour players travel with um, because it's so versatile, yet it's something they can use in the room to get a lot out of it. But today we wanna to hit on a very important piece that I think is sometimes overlooked, but everybody wants to build more and more power to hit it further. One of the most important things that we need to do though is to address sometimes a weak link or something that's preventing that, and we're gonna be looking at the core. So this segment is going to obviously hit the upper and lower and keep those two connected. So if this isn't where it needs to be, both with abs, oblique, and back, you're not gonna be able to embrace that power and really tear through. So with the band, what we're gonna do is work on stability, but we're gonna work in some mobility with the shoulders as well. So get it anchored and we're going into a plank position, okay? So you can get those legs as narrow or as wide as you need to, but we wanna hold that plank the entire time. What we're gonna do is brace and we're pulling this in as we're in that position. Now what we wanna look for is don't get too carried away to where you're over to the side. This isn't doing us any good, but we wanna to have to hold and it should look like we're still in that exact same position. See, my body's not rocking. We go to here. So do as many as you can. We wanna go here. Now we're gonna raise the shoulder up and out. And we're gonna to go to here. After we do that, we'll lighten the resistance just a little bit. So I'm taking some slack off. Arm out to the side. And pull that one down, okay? So we can go through and do both sides. And then whenever we're finished, what we can do is we can strap it onto our feet here. So I'll put it on right there. We're gonna go into our position here, into our plank, and now we're gonna push. So we had our pull, same thing, brace and hold, not too big of rocking. And now we can push that up, want a little bit more resistance, take it to one arm and sit there and hold. So it's definitely gonna be taxing on that midsection. We're gonna to have to really dig deep, stabilize to be able to extend or do that pull, but it's gonna help activate up and through the shoulder blades, but really sitting there and hammering out the core. After this, we can follow it up with some rotational drills, which are gonna be great, and help with that explosiveness. So we work this stability, then we can move on. So give that a try, get building up, check back often, you know there's gonna be more to come, help you get longer drives. And if you haven't already, check out parsonsgolfperformance.com. Find all the behind the scenes stuff, help you get better, faster.